Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. How you guys doing today? All right, all right. Uh, just about to touch up going over. I'm gonna touch up to see if you really believe. Because for you to show belief, it's an action like the officer was just saying. Good. We're about to check this out right now. Let's start with uh, First Corinthians 11 and 3, and then I'll get to the next one. You know, First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it on. But I will have you know that the head of Man, every man is Christ. Now, this is the order in heaven. It's telling you, I mean, this is the order in life. It says, first, the head of, read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man, hang on, hang on, be patient. The head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Jesus the Christ. Okay, read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the man is over the woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. That show you even Christ have head, which is God. That's the Almighty, right. the ancient of uh, David. Right. All right, read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. You hear what the Bible just said, man? It says every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Who is your head? Christ. Good. So if you have your head covered right now with a hat on, what are you doing? Nope. You dishonor it, Christ. Oh. That's what he just said. Read it again so he understands. I think he missed it. Listen. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor it, his head. Which is Christ. Another for you not to dishonor Christ, what should you do? Get out of the hand. There he goes. There we go. That's that's as simple. But you don't put it back on though. That's as simple as it is. God's laws is not hard, like the officer was saying. It's not grievous. It's not hard. No, it's not hard. I'm gonna carry out. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy 25. Watch this. Leviticus. Listen. Before you go, let me ask you this: Are you okay with our uh, uh, situation in society right now? You're not okay with it. If, if, if you if you're not okay with it, the idea should be you want to know what can you do to help your people. What can you do? Remember, it's not it's not a one person thing. It's a collective effort that we must do in order for us to get out this situation that we are in. Right. I'm tired of seeing uh, 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 my people in, in this situation that we are in. Seeing the house on, right. being the, the, the first one to get fired, the last one to get hired. Right. Right. Those are the things that should follow you. Right. right. And bring that's what we're trying to bring out solutions. And you ready to rough to get out. Not knowing that this is your history. Okay, Good. So, Read it from. Okay, so how, how can I... Uh... Good. Guess what? We are, that's what we're touching up right now. We're showing the people their sin. Right. What we are doing... 
Okay, read that for me. Listen to this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Read Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thine heart. You hear what the scripture says? It says we're not supposed to hate our brothers and our heart. The Bible was written in the masculine form. Right. That's for you to sis. It says we're not supposed to hate our brothers or sister in our heart. How do we hate our sisters, man? You know, by hand on by, by having multiple girlfriends. Right. That's hatred. Right. Because when you have multiple girlfriends, guess what you're going to end up doing? Impregnate them and then move on. Say, that ain't my baby. Right. Now that sister going to have to raise these children by herself. Right. And guess what? That's how you have a single house home. And by having a single house home, you're leaving these young men to become thugs and homosexual in, 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 in our neighborhood. Right. Right. Yes, that's what happened. Because you have no fathers at home. You know? But how can we change this? Let me finish with that scripture for you. Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You hear what the scripture says? It says and look, they, we used to have a saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Right. The scripture saying, when you see your brother is heading the wrong direction, it is your job and duty to say, hey, you're heading the wrong direction. Just like I was telling you. Right. Bro, don't rush to leave. Because what we're bringing out is solution to our neighborhood. Right. Right. That's why you need to take heed and listen to what the Bible is saying. Right. Right. Now give me Deuteronomy 2025. Right. Now I'm going to show you something that a lot of us probably think is normal. And it's not normal according to God. Right. Right. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Right. Now, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says... God says, the woman shall not wear that which pretended unto a man. Right. What do women wear today that pretend to men? Pants, pants, straightforward. I like that. Jumpers. Okay. Okay, guess what? Guess what? What do you think when our sisters were in pants? Is that okay according to the scripture? No, it's not okay. What should we do if we want to heal our community? I had to get out of the car. I got to go to Orlando. I got a long ride, but I wasn't listening. I couldn't hear it. But you're not at work right now, sis. You're not at work. Guess what? Another another for our brothers, guess what? You're a young man. There's a lot of sisters that are doing the same thing. You're an older sister that can show an example to the younger ones. So for the younger ones not to dress, wear inappropriately, right. or wearing pants. You know, a lot of our sisters, they like to show cleavage, right. wearing short ass skirts. Right. But guess what you're doing to my young brothers that are trying to stay strong? They're going to end up seeing that and they're going to lost out for it. Right. Give me, give me our first to 29. Get out. All right, man. All right. Hey, you got the flyer. Check us on YouTube and learn a little bit more. And also, we fellowship every Saturday yeah. after the yeah. yeah. That might be the case. Yeah. Yeah. First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Oh, oh, you got a question, man? You have a question? Bring Not really, your question, man. Bring for your okay, question. Listen. That's what we're here for. Okay. We're, we're here to bring solutions Can to our I preface? Let me, I need to preface my question with the following. I have to go to Orlando and drive four hours, so I'm not going to be here long. But my question was, I told him when I came in that I wanted to hear it because I went to Lindy to get me something to eat. Uh -huh. I heard y'all talking. I wanted to hear what you were talking about. Uh -huh. So I couldn't hear down here, so now I'm in front of you. Right. So he was like, do you, um, we have a, a, a whatever, a school in Orlando. You know, so I say, well, uh -huh. And I'm like, well, I'm not really feeling it because I'm not a believer in the Holy Bible. So therefore, in my, in my mind, what like he's saying can edify you as well. Believe, no. All right, good. All yeah. priests. In my mind, it was uh, that the foundation is, is a little shaky because it's based on Bible and Bible verses. It, it's it's based read. off of the Bible and Bible and verses. Bible, Bible verses. Right. Let me ask you this. Okay. Ask me. What, what do you believe in? Um, I don't know, really. It's you like sure? more of a... I believe in like a spirituality, but I don't, I, don't spirituality. Believe, I don't believe that's like a book from that was a name by God. So, so how, God. how would you believe in spirituality if nobody or nothing filter you with those type of information? Because nobody born knowing everything. Right. You learn from somebody. Right. So Absolutely. where did you learn that from? Spirituality. I think you learn from your own experiences. How, 
And I and I also feel that you know you like whenever you do something, you know when you're doing something incorrectly. I don't think that's no. I just think that's me. Hey, let's see if that's true. Let's see if what you let's okay. put what you say to, to, to right. test. He's saying you feel. What would you say about these brothers that are killing each other in the streets right now? Do they feel that they're doing wrong or are they just doing it? They feel that they're doing wrong, I think, but I think that they're also desensitized to it. They desensitized. Why? Because they just, after we're human beings at the you same got kids? time. So we got, absolutely. You got kids, right? Absolutely. So as you're raising your kids, do you teach them morals? All the day. Where do they get their morals from? Where you get your morals from? From me. Where you get yours from? From my father. Where did your fathers get it from? From there, and then so on and so on. So so far, you have nothing concrete, right? Because uh, you can't really tell me. You can't really tell me where your fathers get it from. I'm gonna show you everything but, that's in but here. If it's not, if it's in there, if you can tell me without using that, then me and you can have a conversation. This book is older than you. Older than your father's, right, older yeah. than your father's father's. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say, older than him. then, 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 yeah. that's showing what you're saying is not logical. Give me, give me that scripture. There's a lot of, there's watch, a lot watch, of things older watch. than me and you. Let, let's, First Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. Bring it out. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. God says, God says, if any man speak, okay. let them speak as the oracle of God. Right. Why? Because this book has evidence of who we are today. Right. right now, if I ask you what's your nationality, what would you tell me? Bring it out. I don't know. You I'm don't bad. know. Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to show you. Give me that. I see it. However, I'm going to show you. But you're still using this. I'm going to show you why you don't know. Show me with Pay attention. You guys pay attention. I'm, I'm going to show you how the Bible is a living book. Right. right. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1 and, get and verse 3. Bring it out. The ark knoweth his owner. And I add his master's crib. God is using two docile animals, an ox and a donkey. Okay. He says the uh, the ox know it is order, meaning know who feed them. Right. Okay. And what? And the ass, his master's crib. The ass is a donkey. We'll find his way home. You take a donkey anywhere, right. they'll find their way home. Right. right. Read. But Israel uh -huh. does not know. It says the Israelite, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. they don't know. Right. Right. Israel does not know. My people does not consider. They don't even consider that they are Israelites. Right. They say, this book is not a, a, a living book. This book has nothing to do with me. Right. That's the so-called blacks of today. Right. But guess what? The Bible is telling you, you don't know, neither you consider that you are an Israelite. Right. Right. Guess what? It's not your fault. But I might, I might be in Israel. Like, it's just me being it's not, guess what? I'm, this is what we're here for. That's we're right. here to bring solutions to our problems. Bro. That's how we can uh, heal this neighborhood. That's how we can heal our people. Bro. Read that for me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. Now, this is a prophecy mm -hmm. uh, uh, Moses gave to the Israelites as they exit Egypt. Okay? Bro. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If they don't listen to God's word, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Uh -huh. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The, the warning was, if you don't listen to God's word, right. all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Right. Is curses a good thing, my, my, uh, my brothers and sisters? No, no. no it's not. Read on verse 60. No, actually, go to verse 46. Sir. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. The, the subject matter is his curses. It's right. All these curses will, will come upon thee and overtake thee until thou be destroyed. Right. Until we are destroyed as a people. Right. Read. No. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we don't listen to God's word. Right. We right. rather do our own things. Right. We right. rather listen to our own thoughts. Right. When the Bible is telling you why we are in the condition that we are in today. Right. Right. Now, because we hope this is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And they shall be upon thee. Now it's telling you that they, these curses, will be upon the sons and daughters of Israel. Read. For a son. For a son. A son is what? 
you see this sign say Orange Avenue. Bring it out. Anytime you see Orange Avenue, you automatically thinking of the location where Orange Avenue is. Right. It says these curses will be upon the children of Israel for a sign. Anytime you want to find them, just look upon those curses, you'll be able to find them. Right. Joseph verse 16. Curse shall there be in the city. That's what the brother didn't want to have patience to, to wait for. The curses to showing that by any shadow of a doubt, we are the children of Israel. Yes. Right. Curse shall there be in the city. When you look everywhere that we stay in, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are we living in a, in a good place? What do they call the areas that we stay in? Ghetto. Ghettos, projects, Section 8, slums. Bring it out. Those are the areas that we stay in, and we all know those are not safe places to live. Oh. The Bible said, curse shall that be in the sea. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.